there! I'm Jen and this is my sewing room and today I thought I would show you some fabric, some patterns that I got recently. I love doing this. I love uh, watching pattern hauls and uh, fabric hauls. I get so many ideas from so many sewer YouTubers uh, and it's wonderful. Right now I have a list of simplicity patterns that I want to get. I'm just waiting for them to go on sale. So let's start with fabric. Um, I haven't been buying fabric because I have a pretty good size stash, but then I got some patterns and I realized that, you know, I don't really have fabric for those things. Yeah, well, I probably could make do, but why do that when, as sewers, we love to buy fabric? Okay, so I'm going to start with some interesting fabrics that... Um, I wouldn't normally go out and get and I'm going to show you those because um, I have an Etsy shop where I make book sleeves and um, I started doing it recently and it's a lot of fun. These things go together really quickly. Here's what they look like. Um, I can print with some and uh, I do this with freezer paper and fabric and it's really easy. Um, so these have printing on one side and a pocket on the other. These just have a pocket and they have a little magnetic closure at the top, which is kind of fun. So I make those and I kind of promote those on my booktube channel. And uh, so they, they fit like a tablet or a book or you know any number of things. I have a good friend. She owns a golden doodle and I love that dog, Molly. And so she asked me to make her several book sleeves for Christmas presents. And I said, sure, well, what would you like? And she starts rattling off all the kind of subjects, you know, the things she wants on the fabric. And I had to look and I discovered spoon flower, which I knew about spoon flower, but I had never ordered anything from them. And they are a company that does custom prints on fabric. So if you have a print and you want to put it on fabric, you can do it with them. So she immediately saw these and had to have them in a book sleeve. So I got an interesting um, piece, just like 100% cotton or maybe a cotton poly blend, but I have to show you the print. It's so cute. It's coffee and a golden, golden doodle. So that's one of the ones she wanted. She wanted another one from Spoonflower. This is Dancers. And uh, the other one I got from Spoonflower was Belgian Sheepdogs. And these are for this is for a friend of hers who has a Belgian sheepdog. Amazing, the stuff you can find on Spoonflower. So got those, and then she also wanted some some kind of Doctor Who thing. So I found this cotton at Joann's. You can also get it at other places. It's called Exploding Tardis. So that will make at least one, if not a couple, of um, book sleeves. And then she also wanted. Game of Thrones. So this is the Game of Thrones sigils and this I also got at Joann's but it's a popular print. You can probably find it in uh, most quilt shops or I don't know. It's certainly at Joann's you can find it. And then I got some other um, other prints that I am going to make book sleeves from and those are just kind of fun so I'll show you what they are. This one was from uh, I want to say Walmart is where I got this one. It's Lord of the Rings and it's kind of nice because it's got that metallic kind of sheen to it. And these I all got, or <laughs> these I all got, these I got at Hobby Lobby to make. And so this one is, it's a one-way print, which <laughs> that's good to know when you're cutting things out. I had an experience with that that I'll never forget. So this is kind of just, uh, it's about kind of a winter scene but it, and actually it could even be Harry Potter because it's got the the uh, reindeer or the, the whatever you know what I'm talking about and then I got some llamas these are all a heavier weight uh, home decorator fabric and and um, another kind of bookish puts you to mind of a book um, print from Hobby Lobby. Beautiful, beautiful prints. And then I went to, you know, I'm always going to Walmart. <laughs> it seems like we're there every other day, which I wish I were somewhere else every other day, but inevitably the thing I need, I know they have, and I know they have the best price. So I know I'm, I'm kind of, uh, what's it called? 
making the the cycle go longer <laughs> which I would I don't want to do that but my Walmart has gone away from putting things on bolts and they have flat folds or they just have pieces um, like a two yard piece in like a bin and you kind of have to just weed through and so sort through them but you can find some pretty things and so I found this polyester um, kind of uh, it's almost like a chiffon it's very um, thin you can kind of see through it but it's this beautiful blue stripe and so I just really liked it it was a, a two yard piece for two dollars I think this will make a beautiful drapey blouse so yeah I have some things in mind for that I saw this sweater knit which I don't know the fabric content because they really don't tell you but it feels like a poly blend and it's a fairly lightweight sweater knit it's kind of a gosh a beigey rose color and um, I was thinking about a sweater for my daughter um, it's pretty lightweight and she lives in Alaska which by the way it's it's not usually that cold up there I mean it gets cold but it gets colder in Minneapolis so anyway possible Christmas gift for her possible I don't know, I have a lot of sewing for Christmas so maybe not and then I found this uh, what I would call this an ITY knit um, this is just um, just a poly knit and it's kind of tissuey and it's got coral and um, like a pinkish peachy kind of thing and so I thought this would make a really cute little um, just like a sundress just a fun little shift dress to throw on and wear around um, it's so comfortable it's so soft so probably that's what I'll do with that and then at Hobby Lobby things were on clearance so since I was already there I picked up some of these things um, this is a um, it's a rayon poly and uh, in pink and so it's got a really nice drape perfect for um, a dress I think so that's probably what I will do with it so I love the color on this I just oh, I'm a pink person <laughs> I love pink and then I saw this knit which I thought just looked really fun and you know um, it's fairly lightweight it's it's a nice blue stripe and um, pretty thin I don't know if you can see through it um, but still again good for um, a little lightweight summer dress um, I live here in Florida so it's pretty warm most of the time so something like that or a fun top and now let's move on to the patterns so let me just start off with McCall's um, this is McCall's 7574 it's just a little t-shirt dress I love this dress I love the sleeves I love the way that um, this dress is constructed I just I just love it it's very simple and the effect here is fabric so actually I was thinking of that stripe that blue stripe when I saw this so here's the line drawing just so cute and perfect for the weather here and I don't know if I would make it this long I do love the longer with the tennis shoes look but I might make it shorter than that so not sure but possibly I love this whole idea that I can wear a shift dress and it it doesn't look like a potato sack on me um, I'm learning these days how uh, how to pick things that look good on my body and that's hard for me because I grew up sewing and so for years I knew what I liked I knew what fit me I knew what size I was I knew what looked good on me and so I, since then I've had five kids and gotten older so <laughs> I'm 59 years old so it's like that stuff is not gonna look good that good on me anymore so I'm learning now what I like again and what fits and what size to wear and what modifications to make to the pattern so I have a lot of little dresses here that I would never have picked up normally but I just saw them and I thought they're so cute this is another McCall's 7169 I love this I love the definition that that gives um, you with 
pulling in the waist a little bit. Um, it's really cute, really easy. Um, little darts up here um, that you can see. Here's the line drawing. I love the length. I love the way it's made. I really like it. So big plans for that one. McCall's 7546 is just a top that I looked at and thought, oh, I like that. I don't know about the cold shoulder thing, but I'm up for trying it. What I like is the tie on this and the way that it gives the your waistline some definition without being tight or form-fitting. So really like that. Those are the line drawings. Yeah. And then I really liked this. This is McCall 7658. I don't know, but I just was so impressed with View C, which is this one right here. I just thought I love the drape. Um, I love how the drape forms the sleeve. It just looked interesting to me, and I thought, oh, I think I could pull that off. So I really, um, I don't know. I, it looks fairly simple. Here are the line drawings. Um, and I, even with that pink that I got, that might look really nice. I've got some other fabrics here that are potential for that. This is New Look 6340 and just a cute little dress. And I like this one. I am not a fan of the high-low hem in the front of the back, the sides. I am just not a fan. Here are the line drawings. Got a little tie going on in the back just to kind of give it some shape. What I really like about this are the pockets. The pockets are just really cute. So that is New Look 6340. And this is Simplicity. $84.95. It's just one of their little basic 97 cent patterns, but perfect for that daughter in Alaska. It's not, a, not terribly complicated. Um, it just has the slanted um, attachment, just the one button there here um, with the off, the asymmetrical, <laughs> I was like, what is the word? The asymmetrical front and long sleeves, and this would be perfect out of Fleece. I actually have some fleece that I could use. Simple, simple line drawing. Just very simple. She got me a top last year and she also got a top for herself that was somewhat similar to this. Um, and I loved it. I wore it all last year when I lived up north and I will wear it again over the holidays. And uh, she also got one for herself. And so this is reminiscent of that. So because of that, that's why I picked it up. It's Simplicity 8059. I love this. I love the cardigan. I love, or duster, however you want to call it. Um, I love the dress. I would probably make it sleeveless. And I just, I just love this. I love the pants. I love the whole thing, really. I just, you know, even this. I don't know about the asymmetrical hem. I'm, I would probably just wear that with um, a straight tunic or a long t-shirt. But, oh, I really love this pattern. I love everything about it. There are the line drawings. Yeah, Simplicity 8059. This is Butterick 6455, and it's just a top. Cute top for fall, spring, winter, winter down here in Florida. Um, I really like the bell sleeves, and I like the top. Is it this one? Yeah, this one with the flounce. Although I would probably make that far longer. I would add probably a good eight inches to that and just um, wear it longer over leg leggings. But just such a cute top, really cute. I also like the sleeves on view D. Here's the line drawing. I, you know, easy, throw it on. Don't even think about it. Put a pair of leggings on or shorts or whatever, jeans. And there you go, you're all set. And that is my latest haul. Um, I'll be back at some point with uh, some Christmas sewing that I have. I usually try and make my girls dresses for Christmas and I'll show you then some of the things that I made them last year. And I'm just so pleased with the way that they turned out. And if I ever get some more simple, I, I really do. I have some specific simplicity patterns in mind and I'm just waiting for them to go on sale. I really want them to go on sale. Come on, Joanne's. 
let's give her the program or you know Hobby Lobby that would be fine too so anyway um, I'll be back then and I will just see you next time thank you so much for watching